So is there anything that you've done that you wouldn't do again? That I wouldn't do again? Mm -hmm. um, I certainly would not invite a slave to come live with me again. Um, I thought I, that I, was just for a week. Well, it was a week-long interview to determine whether or not he oh, would move in with a us. Oh, 24-7? Um, but it's, it's very hard to describe, but I woke up at 5 a.m., my eyes opened, and he was standing over me with my coffee because I had told him I would like coffee as soon as I wake up. And the guy had literally been standing there for like a half hour at 4.30 in the morning. And this was the guy who was in the basement with no sheets or blankets. Sure, yeah. And that just freaked the hell out of me. And um, so I wouldn't, I don't, I don't want anybody living in my house anymore. But you thought that you did? I did, yeah. Seemed like a great idea. Mm-hmm housekeeper slash well, you could always laundry. lock your bedroom door though well and certainly i learned a lot about rules and communication and setting expectations well especially if they're i don't know if they want to listen i would think it wouldn't be that hard to have a 24 7 live in because you could tell them Probably okay you not. know what don't do that again right <laughs> and then like <laughs> yeah i don't know was it's he just, punished for that? No, because I had told him I'd want yeah, a cup of coffee as soon as, soon as I wake it, up. It scared you. Right, right. So. Thanks for listening to Bound to Talk. Look for us on YouTube, iTunes, or visit boundtotalk.com.